Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel and today's video is a watch me work design. So as always I will pop all the links to the products I've used in the description box along with any discount codes I may have for the companies. If you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to click that subscribe button and no messing around today, let's get on with the design. Mwah! So this is part two of my pretty in pink Teen Gorgeous acrylic design and I'm going to show you how I decorated the nails in this video. So they're all top coated from the first video and I'm just using my gel cleanse to give those middle two nails a wipe and a clean. Now I am using my Elite 99 um, gel for this, this is just a cheap one from Amazon but it does the tr job for me um, and I quite like working with it. So I'm using my Crystal Nails Barbara 2 brush and I'm creating a sort of jewel teardrop shape on the nail. Um, just using small bits of the paint and just painting it on um, to create the shape. Um, this is a slightly 3D gel paint as well so you could do 3D work with it. Um, as I said it's just a cheapy one from Amazon but I'm going to be honest I do quite like it for these sort of things. Once I'm happy with the shape I'm going to colour it in um, and I sort of pull the paint into the middle so I don't lose the shape that I've spent ages working on um, and just adding a little bit at a time. I don't want it really really thick because then it won't cure properly. Um, just keeping a nice thin layer so it's all completely covered just neatening up that edge if I feel I need to because I'm a perfectionist who likes to faff. <laughs> uh, and when I am finally happy with that I'm going to pop it in my LED lamp and I'm going to cure it for well 60 seconds <laughs> as my screen so lovely says. While that's curing I'm going to get some foil ready. Now I get all of my foils from the lovely Sarah Richardson's website. It's um, Nail Stamping Queen UK but I'll pop the details below and I'm using the Holographic Rose Gold foil for this. So I've just used my scissors to cut off a little bit of the foil and then using a nail polish remover I'm just giving the back a clean, get rid of any dirtiness, this just helps the foil to stick I find. Uh, now this gel paint has a tacky layer so I'm going straight onto that and I'm just sort of randomly splodging, very technical word that, splodging the foil over top of that paint. I don't want to completely cover it but I want it sort of 90% covered and I'm just going in adding where I feel I needed a bit more. I've now got a blue sky builder gel and I've got a hard gel brush and I am going to cover the foil just with a thin layer. Not building anything with this, I'm just giving it a covering of a small amount. And then on top of that gel before I cure it, I've got my Rosetta Fairy Flakes from Glitter Planet, which I used in the original nail design. And using my Barbara 2 brush, I'm just picking up some of those flakies and adding them on top of that uncured gel. Uh, if you need to, I just dipped the very tip of my brush, like I am doing now, in that gel so that the flakes had something to stick to. Uh, and I'm just sort of covering almost right up to the edge. I don't want to go over because I don't want to lose the shape. Um, not addling, I'm not adding loads, <laughs> I'm not addling either. Um, just baffing, really, you know me. Um, until I'm happy with that coverage and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds in case you needed to know. Once that is all cured, I am going to add the shape to my little jewel. So I'm picking up a decent sized bead of this um, builder gel, placing it in the middle of the nail and then I'm just pressing it out um, using the edge of my brush to sort of round it off because I want it to be 3D. Um, I don't want it to be flat, I want it to be sort of round and as smooth as possible. Now, 
This is my first time ever doing this, um, but I was inspired by a video that the lovely Lucy Fell did, so I wanted to have a go at recreating it. So I will pop the link to her video down below. Once I'm happy with the shape, you guessed it, I'm a cure in it. And there it is, almost complete. Uh, so I'm going to go in with my gold Elite 99 gel now and I'm just going to outline around the edge. Now you don't need to do this, you could do it with white um, or something to um, sort of blend in a bit more with the colours used but I quite liked the gold because of the rose gold foil that I use and I just felt this neatened it up slightly. So I'm just going to go right around the edge and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure again for, um, yeah, you guessed it, 60 seconds. That is all cured and I'm going to be honest I'm loving that jewel but it needs a little bit more. So I've got a selection of Swarovskis and Opals from Angel Crystals. This is where I get all of my Swarovskis from and I'm going to do a little bit of a crystal tiara on this other ombre nail. So I've got my glue from Team Gorgeous which I always always use. And my crystal picker upper from Glitter Planet. Apologies, I think I hit my camera there with the um, wax pencil and my glue kept falling over, so I'll put it in one of the lids. So I've sort of started with sort of a rosy goldy Swarovski in the middle, and then I'm going to use a couple of the pink opals. Now, I'm going to be honest, vo while I'm voicing this over, sorry, I'm having problems picking up. I can't remember exactly what mixes I used. I know the, these are the pink opals, <laughs> but apart from that, I'm not sure. So I will double check and leave those details in the um, description box. Now, I was having some problems because they weren't sticking brilliantly. I probably needed to give it another good old wipe over with my gel cleanse or if you've top coated and you find your uh, crystals don't stick very well, go over with a buffing block to give it a little bit of a surface to grip to, which I probably should have done, in all honesty. It's what I normally do. <laughs> so I'm just finishing off with that final uh, crystal and then I'm just going to leave that glue to dry. I was really happy with that little tiara because it sort of brought in the gold from that jewel I made and the pink from the rest of the nails and yeah I liked it. So I'm now going to top coat this will smooth over that jewel and also it did have a tacky layer which I needed to get rid of so I'm going right over the top with top coat right down the sides getting all in there and then I'm going to top coat this nail again, butting right up to those Swarovskis, not over them because I don't want to lose the shine. And then popping Lottie in the lamp for a 60 second cure. Now she's out of the lamp, back onto my 3D jewel nail and I'm wiping away again using my gel cleanse. And I'm just going to add a couple of Swarovskis to this just to tie it all together. Again, using my Team Gorgeous glue and my Glitter Planet Picker Upper Wax Pencil. So, just popping those into place. Again, I was having a little bit of issue with it on the top coat, but I got there in the end. Uh, so once I have finished applying these opals and Swarovskis, that is my design pretty much finished. So 
so my decoration is all complete and if this was a uh, real hand uh, to finish off your service you would go in with your cuticle oil so I'm just going in with my Tim Gorgeous cuticle oil this does just get rid of any little bits of dust and things that are still stuck on the hand and around the nails and give it a good old rubby in and that is the end of the service and I'm gonna be honest I really love that 3d jewel and the way it catches the light with the rose gold foil underneath those flakes it's just I just love it I think it was a real finishing touch to this design and that is the end of this design so thank you so much for watching if you would like to see part one where I did the um, basic nail design I will pop the link for that in the description box along with links for all the products I have used I do have discount codes for glitter planet and angel crystals I have popped them on the screen but they are also in the description box please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to click that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you again very soon thanks for watching bye Mwah!